Okay. Now let's see this question. This question came in gate 2014 for two marks. The question is, consider the pseudo code given below. The function do something takes an argument as a pointer to the root as the pointer to the root and then uh, which, uh, the, of the tree which is represented as leftmost child right sibling representation. What is that? That is, if there is a particular graph which is let's say something like this. Uh, if there is a particular tree which is something like this. Let's say something like this. Okay. So it is not necessarily a binary uh, uh, tree. In fact, leftmost child right sibling representation is generally more preferred in way in places where uh, the tree is having more than two children. Okay, so mm -hmm. each node, if each node can have more than two children, then we can have a representation like this, which is starting from here. You can have a pointer to the left child. And then you can also have a pointer to the right sibling. Okay. Similarly, here you can have a pointer to the left child and you can have a pointer to the right sibling. Similarly, like this. Now, here you can again have a pointer to the left child and then you can have a pointer to the right sibling. Okay. So, this is the representation in terms of leftmost child right sibling. Now that they have given a pseudo code and they are asking that if we pass the root of a tree, that is the pass, if we are passing the root of the tree as the argument, at the first argument to the do something, then what is the value? The returned value represents what? Okay. So let's scan through the code. So see what they are doing is that, okay, if the tree, whatever value is passed, that is null. Uh, so uh, empty node so nothing is there passed then we are going to return value 0 so value 0 is going to be returned nothing is done here but if we are going to pass a valid node then it is going to have two pointers one is leftmost child and another is right sibling so what they are doing is that they are working with leftmost child and right sibling so basically uh, they are calling do something on leftmost child and they are also calling do something on rightmost sibling sorry right sibling and then they are adding two uh, they are adding these two values so the final value is from here and from here they are adding that value and returning that final value okay so my point is that if you are invoking let's say from here then you will make a call do something on this pointer on this node sorry so which will represent this value for this entire uh, subtree and also you will make a call for this because this is the tree arrow leftmost child and this is the tree arrow rightmost child if the tree is basically this pointer so you are talking about this so you are getting the value from this and you are getting the value of, from this and then adding that and then finally returning that value. So we have to take into observation that whatever value we are adding, how that value is getting actually uh, getting created for the first time. See, we are talking about this line when value is equal to one. So when so here simply summation is going on, right? But actually value creation, the creation of particular value is going to happen at this line. And what is the condition for this line? The condition for this line is when tree arrow leftmost child is equal to null, which means that at places like here, at places like here, where there is no leftmost child, so leftmost child is equal to null, the value is going to be one, and then we are going to do something on the right sibling, right sibling, okay, tree arrow right sibling, and then we are going to add that value. So basically we can see that tree arrow leftmost child is basically representing what? Leaves. See here tree arrow, uh, arrow leftmost child is null. There is no leftmost child. It is a leaf. Here there is no leftmost child. It is a leaf. Here also and here also. At these places 
the left most child is null basically that is representing uh, leaf and that is exactly the place where the value is assigned a, a value of 1 and that is getting added okay so we can see that at the end the entire recursion when that will be completed then the value increments will be only done at the places where leftmost child is null and therefore this entire pseudocode is going to uh, calculate the total number of leaves in the tree okay so the options are uh, uh, what is this do something when it is called on root of the tree what is this do something that value is going to give and that value returned is going to be number of leaves in the tree so other options you can see the number of internal nodes that is wrong obviously because we are incrementing at leaves the height of the tree no not at all the number of nodes without a right sibling that is not at all because in fact we are recursing for example here we are going to recurse here on this but we are going to add value only if leftmost child is not null if in fact if there is a leftmost child here left child here then what is going to happen that no value increment is going to happen and recursion is going to happen on this and this so definitely that is not going to uh, count the right sibling uh, number of nodes uh, without right sibling okay uh, so the only answer is option is d which is correct also as we discussed earlier so the answer is d